Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tom Clancy The Division Beta. So uh, I want to do a little 10-15 minute playthrough of this game uh, and kind of give my opinions on it and uh, sort of say what I think is cool about it, what I don't think is cool about it, what I think is awesome, what I think is shit. Um, I don't really actually have anything to say that it's shit about yet, just because I haven't really played much of this game. Um... I literally downloaded it yesterday, um, and f with a few issues trying to get into the game first, um, I finally was able to log in and maybe log about uh, 45 minutes worth of gameplay yesterday. Um, I guess there were some issues with, uh, with the servers and things like that, and so it was uh, causing issues with people actually trying to get into the game. Um, so the first thing you'll notice about this game is that it's third person. Um, <clears throat> start start uh, button will just allow you to get to your abilities, inventory, um, intel, uh, some progress about stuff. Obviously some things are locked in the beta. You're not able to access them at this point. Um, and if you press your sort of uh, select button, this will bring up your map. Now, this map is pretty huge. Um, and the best way I can describe, um, and who knows how much more they will incorporate into the real game, but the best way I can sort of describe this is from what I've been told, um, and can, can correct me if I'm wrong, um, it's sort of comparable to a GTA V uh, sort of uh, Los Santos area uh, as far as just pure amount of things to do um, as you can tell or if you may have not uh, been able to tell uh, we are in the city of New York uh, as you can tell we're, uh, we're uh, the Times Square is over here um, Pennsylvania Plaza one of our top priorities is securing power our best bet for a secure source is a line running through the unfinished pathway project a small crew under a former combat engineer Gonna go ahead and named do a mission. Paul Rhodes went in to do the job. They haven't come out, and his comms are offline. Get us that power and recover Rhodes, in that order. One's important, the other's vital. Now, uh, I guess this is, um, I guess this is actually an open world game, uh, meaning that there are other people, um, running around with you, sort of like, uh, sort of like a Destiny style, uh, game which I think is kind of cool um, one of the cool features that they have in this game so far which I really enjoy is when you're going to a mission it actually outlines this uh, sort of outlines this line here to sort of tell you where exactly you're gonna go um, and how you're gonna get there and um, And there's a lot of stuff that I don't know about this game, but as you can sort of see on uh, on the right, sort of to the right of my player, you can see uh, the ammo that I have. Uh, obviously, uh, the clip size, uh, how many health packs I have, how many grenades I have, and my special abilities. Um, switch your weapons. You just press the Y um, if you're playing on an Xbox One controller, um, and to press to your uh, bring to your uh, pistol, you just double tap Y. Um, and uh, aiming, sort of, uh, sort of the same sort of thing. Uh, left trigger, uh, right trigger to obviously shoot, and um, customizing Approaching your location. Okay. customizing this your. Uh, we'll link up with you shortly. Customizing your weapons are another thing too. Looks like there's some some some, some trouble over here. Get these bad boys out. This game does require you to be in cover quite a bit. Um, that's sort of the one of the big premises of the game. Oh, and I'm getting shot from behind. I've yet to fi figure out where my health bar is, and it sort of throws me in a loop. I think the, the cool thing about this is if you look at another... Oh, there he is. There we are. Alright. I want to go ahead and continue on to my mission. Um. What was I saying? Oh, I, 
I forget what I was saying. But, uh... Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. <clears throat> so if you, for instance, if you hold, if you go into cover on a, on a surface, and you want to run to cover on that surface, um... What you do is, oh, I guess that was actually part of a part of a mission. Uh, what you do is you just, if you hold A, it'll bring you to that spot. And so if I want to go to that spot, I just hold A, and my character will run to that spot. And if I want to go to that spot, my character will run to that spot, um, which is really allows you to easily maneuver. Um, it kind of screws with you a little bit, um, seeing as. You have to hold A, and your character's gonna sprint when he, when you hold A. Now, the actual sprint button, if you're unattached to any sort of object, is just left in on the left stick. In on the left stick. So, it can be a little weird, um, but... Sarah was using the site as a mass grave, which explains Oops. why the cleaners have targeted it. Avoid contact oh, if shit. possible, oh, but do no. what you have to do to make sure Rhodes gets us the juice we need. That is, if he's still alive. Yeah, baby. He's still alive. We got him. Let's do it. Locating auxiliary relay. Target acquired. Sub-level 3. Oh, shit. Let's go. Gain entrance to the subway. Subway morgue site. Oh, those guys got fucking flamethrowers? Damn. Damn, they are flamethrowers. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. This guy's coming after me. Alright. The minimap, I've been having a little... Some issues trying to figure out exactly. Um, the orange dots... Um, are the places that you should be going to next, I suppose, in the progression of the mission. Uh, these green little things, um, these are just sort of just things that, uh, you can pick up. And the cool thing is, I think that thing on the very far right is the level that you need to equip it. And I th the little down, red down arrow actually tells you, before you even pick it up, if, uh, it's better or worse than the currently equipped vest that you have on right now. Um, I just pick everything up because I'm a hoarder, um, but you are able to sell stuff uh, and continue on that way. Um, so obviously, uh, let's see, oh, oh, right, to, right stick is obviously to hit. I was trying to figure out a way to... Alright. Get, get wrecked, son. Oh shit. There go. I have yet to figure out how to actually throw grenades. The cool thing is, is you can always see how much ammo that you have, which I think is really which is a really cool uh little thing that they've incorporated. Okay, so there's one more, and the other cool thing is you there's a little red arrow on those guys. Oh he's fuck it. That said he's blowing up. Ha <laughs> ha! That's awesome. Sort of reminds me of Gears of War a little bit. Okay. So obviously the white the white stuff is uh you just sort of run over them and you pick them up and that can just be ammo, it can be med kits, grenades, whatever. I believe that's what the white labeled stuff is. Okay, so there's more guys over there. Clearly. Get wrecked, son. It takes a little bit of... Oh, shit. The game takes a little bit of getting used to. The the, the control mechanics and uh, um, things like that are, are a little bit... Um, a little bit here, off. That Rhodes is a bit of a wild card. He's got the skills we need, but he's a little eccentric. Which is a nice way of saying he's a paranoid jackass. <laughs> paranoid jackass, bitch. 
the one the one cool thing I really I, I can I think I can really appreciate about this game is all the little minute details that just make the overall gameplay extremely it, it looks very operative style um, which um, to be to be fair and to be honest in the same time uh, I haven't played a Tom Clancy game since um, like splinter cell practically um, and so uh, playing one of these after the, for the first time in a long time um, damn I don't really know if I need to use that or not but I don't know where my goddamn health bar is um, but um, fuck but uh, to be able to you know not having not playing uh, one of those games in quite some time I can really appreciate the very tactical style of gameplay that uh, his franchise is uh, sort of brought out um, another cool thing uh, if you want to hop over something it even shows you the trajectory so if I want to hop over this right now you see the little white line so if I just pull down a B and so it, it really it allows you to be fluid but at the same time it's sort of it's just a little bit to get used to um, just because there's always things popping up. There's always things on the map. Oh, fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Running away now. Damn, why did he charge me like a fucking idiot? There we go. Jeez, scared the living shit out of me. And obviously you can see your progression bar on the top right and your level and things like that. I believe you. St I believe I started at level four, um, which uh, which which I was okay with because obviously some of these some of these areas need to be a higher level to get in and things like that. And um, what was that? What was that? Oh shit! People are getting wrecked at this point. Better run down and save them. God damn, there's some more guys over here. Checkpoint, mother truck. We have intel that there are multiple cleaner teams on site. They're looking to burn out the infection along with anyone who tries to stop them. Be careful. Oh shit. All right, all right, all right. Oh shit. Didn't even see those guys. Oh, I didn't think he noticed. Oh, there you go. Where you at, home slice? Wow, aim, 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 dude. There we go. Gun mechanics take a little bit to get used to as well, but that's okay. Damn, some fiery shit down there. Oh, contaminated zone. I don't Okay. So here's another weird thing about this game is there's contaminated zones that you only have a limited time to So like for over here, for example, if you were to try to if for whatever reason you wanted to go in here, um it's you see it says a contaminated zone. Um, and it requires a filter zero one, which I'm not too entirely sure what that is, but um, I believe different places require you to have different masks where you can go in and actually survive to go into the contaminated zones without going in and getting passed out. This project was um, intended as an extension of the subway system. They didn't get to finish it before the dollar flu hit. Then again, construction in New York always runs on its own schedule. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Being a person from New York, not New York City though, but New York State, I can completely agree with that statement. <clears throat> but the amount of depth and detail into these in, into the, these missions and these maps, I think, are extremely awesome. Um, I mean, come on, it's got the New York City Rail Terminal. <laughs> um, there's a lot of detail in this. I think is sweet. Activate that power relay. Yeah. I'm not too sure what I did. Oh man, I opened that Whoever huge ass door. On the lights, you're either JTF or you're really fucking lost. Either way, thanks. This is Faye Lau patching in. Either we have way. On the way Rhodes. Whoever's down here, head for the secondary relay room. And when you see the dead bodies, get your mask Shit. on quick. 
Otherwise, you're dead. I'm in a contaminated zone, I think. I don't know what that means, but I'm just gonna Morning. run. You are now entering a contaminated area. Okay. Oh exited shit. The contaminated area. Oh, exited it. I don't really know how you can find the That guy's just burning shit just because. I wonder if I can get his fucking tank. Let's try it out. There we go. Boom, bitch. Get fucking destroyed. Oh, shit. Gotta, gotta accommodate for a little bit of the recoil that, uh, with these guns here. I think there's something else over here. I don't want to get flanked. There we go. Little white things are obviously, uh, oh shit. Yeah, you need some help. Where are you running to? I haven't figured out. Ugh. I haven't figured out how to use the friggin' grenades yet, but. Sorry. Activate secondary power relay. Oh shit. Activate that secondary power relay. Hold X. Boom. Ah, shit. Ah, shit, what? Shit, what? Because I'm going to need your help. Whatever assistance you need, we can handle it. Good. Because oh, I need good. some relay boxes swapped out. Good. Oh, no, I'm scared. Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Reach the secondary subs. Dashing. Alright. That guy's got like shock something. Shock suppression or something like that? I don't even know. Run it for me, baby. Overall, I've been having a lot of fun playing this game so far. Um, I, uh. Reconnect the circuit breaker. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, shit! Holy shit, that guy scared the fuck out of me. Holy shit. I'm a big multiplayer guy, and I've yet to figure out how to play multiplayer, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm enjoying this, actually, though, a lot. Okay, there we go. Boom. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. It's actually working. You son of a bitch. Oh, we're in business, baby. Oh, and you got the New York accent going on, too. Oh, fuck. Go, fuck, 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 go, get out of my way. Damn, damn, they're charging like motherfuckers. That guy's got a fucking goddamn axe. Holy shit. Damn, I'm running out of ammo pretty quick, actually. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, I'm running out of ammo. I need more a Getting shot at. Getting shot from. Ow, 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 ow. Holy shit. That's a blue ass item. I've never seen one of those before. Get out of here! Damn, son. What is this? It's a modern. modern bomber jacket. Alrighty. That's good news. Good news. I'm not too sure what that does, but okay, I, okay. I need, hopefully, that's some primary weapon ammo because I need some of that. And it's just construction pads. What are construction pads? Let's see. So if you go to your inventory, uh, you can obviously see uh, how much stuff you have, and I'm guessing the 13 out of 34 means I can carry 34 different items. Um, so in here you'll find uh, your three weapons uh, followed by <coughs> um, I believe these are weapon mods at the bottoms which you can go into your weapons and choose different modifications for your weapons 
So equipped gear, if I go in here, um, so I believe the currently, what I'm currently wearing is the utility vest, um, but I have a hunting vest, uh, and each thing increases, uh, each <coughs> vest sort of has a different attribute, so like a minor attribute for the hunting vest would be 6% increased kill XP, which is pretty sweet. Uh, the utility vest, 13% ammo capacity, which I must most certainly prefer. Um, and it's also 25 armor versus 23 armor. Um, and it looks like, yeah, it increases kill XP. So, um, <clears throat> obviously, if you're looking to level up, that's something that you'd want to wear. Um, you can deconstruct these items uh, by pressing down on the left stick. Every time I've deconstructed an item, it's just had me... It hasn't given me everything and just said contaminated items you can't get anything for. I've been told you can sell those in the town somewhere. Um, <clears throat> so in here, obviously, we have these masks, which I believe uh, help in going through contag contagious areas. Um, and so, uh, I have these recruit knee pads, and I have these also construction pads, uh, which provide one more armor. <coughs> wow, voice crack. But this is, uh, these recruit knee pads give me 30 plus health and 11% increased kill XP. So I'm not going to change just for one more armor, but, um, I'm curious as to where my, whatever that jacket was went. Um, too sure. But in the guns, um, here are the, all the different guns that I have. Uh, you can assess them by, uh, and you can see, obviously, you can see the, the little one by here, which is my first weapon. Uh, the classic M1A is my second. Um, and I'm guessing this, these numbers, these 1638s, I'm guessing that's the, guessing that's the price, but I could be wrong. <coughs> um, and so blue, I'm guessing blue is a little bit more rare than green uh, maybe I'm not entirely sure but you can obviously see all the stats uh, incorporated with them and then if you want to modify it you just press X and you can go through all these slots and see if there's anything whatever you want to equip you can go ahead and equip it which I think is pretty sweet the customization in, in this game is also pretty awesome so let's continue on so that shooting that was you right but so I think someone might have heard you Morning. Hostiles inbound on your position. That's good. Morning. Now entering I'm in a contaminated zone too, so... Not too sure of how long it's going to take me to die, but... Damn, there's people. Get wrecked, homie! Come on now, come on out. Pop your head out. Give me that ammo. Nice. Oh, for days. Wow, guys for days. Holy shit. I believe the purple guys are the ones that are a little bit harder to kill. Uh, I'm going to try to throw a grenade this time. Oh, there's how you throw a grenade. <coughs> oh, he ran away. That little fucker. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's running at me. So those guys are clearly a get out of my life, bitch. Those guys with the different colors are a little uh, a little harder, I guess. I guess that's just their nice way of. Uh, I'm gonna switch to this weapon. This is like a this is a little bit more of a gut. Oh fuck! Get fucking wrecked, kid. Come on, pop your head out. Pop, pop, pop. <clears throat> this is more like a sniper rifle, it looks like. I'm guessing I, you can get better scopes and stuff like that. I think mine's just more of a... I'm gonna go up there and get that, uh... Can I get up there and get that ammo? <clears throat> Whatever, it's not a big deal. Leaving contaminated area. Whew! Leaving that... Secondary power relay. Oh. Time to connect another part of the relay. Warning. Hostiles inbound. Warning. Hostiles inbound. Where am I gonna go? Ow! Oh shit. Yeah, 
headshot, motherfucker. Apparently, I can't run with this thing. Get wrecked. Come on now. Die, you bitch. I'm not dropping the gun. You dropped your fucking flamethrower. Okay, I need to I need to wait until I fucking fucking murder all these guys before I do this. <coughs> there we go. Okay, there's one more. Boom. Is that it? Is that all you guys got? Who who who? Getting a little too into it, but what do you what what can I say, you know? Alright, I guess I gotta walk all the way over here. You know, it's like one little briefcase in it, or one little whatever this thing is. Can't even run. It's video game logic. <laughs> oh, here they come. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Switch weapons, you bitch. You and your plastic ass. Whoa, I didn't know I could do that. He's like, where did you go? That was cool. Didn't know you could, like, dodge. Didn't know you could dodge roll. Okay, am I going to be able to carry this without involving any more people, or what? Oh, I can't forget that. I can't forget that ammo. Almost hard to come by in these parts. Oh, it wasn't even an ammo. It was a lock pick. Oh, I guess you can pick locks in this game, too. That's sweet. Damn, this game is... This game, I have to say... I don't, I don't have, like I said, I haven't played a Tom Clancy game in a while. Uh, don't know what or how the others compared. But this is pretty fucking fun. I must say. Activate power relay. Oh shit. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh man, we're wrapping it up, boys. We are wrapping it up. Soon we get out of this fucking crypt, the better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how long this episode has been, but I figured this would be a good place to stop before it finishes. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and this informational-ish video about Tom Clancy's The Division Beta. I've had a lot of fucking fun, that's for sure. Um, if you want to watch more of my videos, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And, uh, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Fucking keep her out.